I'm here today to talk about crime in North Yorkshire and York. And I'm standing as the local Conservative Police, Fire and Crime Commission candidate. Um, I'm very delighted uh, to be able to talk uh, to Kit Malthouse, the Police Minister, who has very kindly agreed to answer a number of questions. Minister, Pauline from Pickering has asked, what else is being done to cover wildlife crime and tackle it properly? Well, Philip, it's, it's great to see you, and I hope that I'll see a lot more of you after May the 6th. Uh, but it's a really good question uh, that Pauline's asking, because we've seen a, a bit of an uptick in, in particular types of wildlife crime, not least uh, poaching and illegal coursing across the country over the last uh, few months. I'm a rural MP myself, and I've seen it. I think there are two things to say. First of all, obviously, we're recruiting a very significant increase in police officers um, across the whole country, um, lots and lots of them over the next two or three years because they're new they will almost all be in uniform and be out in in neighborhoods and communities and so they'll be better able to detect and prevent uh, that kind of crime um, but at the same time we have to recognize that much of that poaching and wildlife crime is kind of organized crime done for gambling purposes and many of the people who are involved in it are often connected with other types of crime like machinery theft and what have you and so a, a big push and a strengthening of our serious and organized crime efforts um, across the whole country we think will have an impact you know the last two years have seen really really good financial settlements for policing we're growing the national police force and we're becoming much more assertive about confronting exactly this sort of crime Excellent. Richard from Harrogate would like to know what the government's doing to complement my own plans for breaking up county lines drug dealers. Well, it's a really good question again. And Harrogate, a town very close to my heart. My dad was born and brought up there. Uh, my grandparents lived there for many years, sadly, till they died. I've still got cousins there. We'll be visiting soon. But even lovely Harrogate is blighted by drugs and county lines. Um, and we've seen that across the whole country. When the Prime Minister came to office, he made one of his priorities the dismantling of this particularly unpleasant trade. And that's what we've been doing over the last 18 months. We've now dismantled several hundred uh, of these lines. We've given uh, lots of resources to the big exporting forces, so to Liverpool, to uh, West Midlands and to London. But critical to success is that the importing forces like North Yorkshire take this problem seriously and work with those exporting forces to shut these lines down as soon as they are appearing. And I know that when you become Police and Crime Commissioner, you will focus the force on exactly that. Absolutely. So Jane has asked from York, um, basically two women are tragically being killed who were from York, Sarah Everard and Claudia Lawrence. What can we do better to protect women and young girls from violence? So those are terrible crimes. And of course, we all watched with horror as the story, particularly around Sarah Everard, uh, unfolded. And our deep condolences remain with her family, who I know are from York and, and around that area. It's a terrible, terrible crime. Look, there's lots of work going on at the high harm end of crime. You know, we're looking at what we can do more about rape. Obviously, we have a big drive to prevent and drive down murders by identifying perpetrators more uh, closely and interfering, if you like, with the crimes that lead to a murder like domestic violence. But one of the issues that came out of that awful tragedy was a general sense of, of safety in the public realm amongst women and, and girls, that they wanted to feel that space was governed. And so an increase in police officers across the country will help with that. But we do have, we have this thing called the Safer Streets Fund, which is about physical improvements um, in the environment that will allow people to feel safer, better street lighting, more CCTV. And what I hope is that when you're elected, you will make a bid to this fund, listening to the, to the female members of your constituency about where they don't feel safe and where they'd like to see improvements in the public realm you'll bid and hopefully be successful to get the money to do exactly that thank you kit for taking the time to answer my question so comprehensively uh, which is much appreciated thank you my pleasure vote alert everybody on may the 6th good luck <laughs> thank you